Hi there and welcome back. In this video we're going to be solving the following question asking us to find the area of a quadrilateral. We're given four points here, A, B, C, and D, as well with the, the equation of the plane, which we're actually not going to be using uh, in this particular method I'm going to be showing you. Now here's the quadrilateral to the right. It has four points. The point D notice is actually going far below the sort of, I don't know, the 2D plane you can see here from this X point to this Y point. So one of the strategies to finding the area of this, this strange quadrilateral is actually to divide it from B to D and then find the area of this side, the left side, and add it to the area of the right side. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. But to find the area of this particular triangle, this triangle I'm referring to this one right here, which is the first step, we need to find some vectors. Notice we're given points here. We need we need the vector from A to B, which is essentially the side or length of that entire point right there, or that entire area. So we need, like I said, we need A to B as a vector. As well, we need A to D. So let's put this down there as well, A to D. And I have a, vid I have a video if you forgot how to find these vectors. Uh, so 0 subtract 5 is just negative 5, 0, 0, and this is going to be a, a 2 there. This is the first vector. Uh, it's 5 subtract 5 is 0. We have 6 subtract nothing is just 6, and then we have negative 3. And these are the two vectors. Now the next step is to cross them. Uh, I'm actually going to be using this particular formula, which I probably should have written out by now. Let me change colors. It's I'll write it down here. It's the, the, the vector A crossed with the vector B. The magnitude of both of this divided by 2. This gives you the area of a triangle. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. We already found two vectors that we can use. All we have to do now is cross them. So I also have a video on that in case you forgot. So we have negative 12 here, then comma, negative, and that's going to give us a positive 15 there. And that's essentially that's all that's going to have. We have negative 30 as well here. So that's all of, this is the normal or orthogonal vector. This is the magnitude, almost, I guess. It's not the magnitude just yet. We have to take the square of everything and square root it. So let me do that quick. So what we have here is the magnitude calculation to find the magnitude of this vector right here, the, the essentially the normal or orthogonal vector. That's what you do when, uh, that's what you get when you cross two other vectors. That's not important to solving this question particularly. So what is this calculation here? Well, whatever it is, I'm going to, let me simplify it actually. It's quite a hefty number. I'm going to actually erase this part right here and put it there because we don't need that part anymore. It's going to be the square root of 1269. So this part here is our, well, the top half of our equation. It's going to be divided by two. This will give us the area of this first triangle, this first side right there. And I'll kind of color code it green just so we always remember, because I'm going to be, I'll change colors just to make it a tad bit more simpler. Let's work on the right hand side now, the B, C, and D triangle. So we need the vectors B to C and B, or actually C to D probably. That's got B to C is right here, and then C to D. We always want a sort of connecting chain. So what is B to C? Uh, well, that's going to give us a 0, 4, and 0. That's going to be a negative 2 there. This will be the, the B to C vector. I should draw arrows here to indicate that it's a vector. Uh, D to C, where is that? 5 subtract 0 is just a 5. 6 subtract 4, 2. Negative 3 subtract nothing is negative 3. Now we take the cross product between these two vectors here, just like this equation here tells us to. So negative 12 subtract, let me write that down, right over here, negative 12 subtract, uh, where is it, negative 4. So it's going to be adding negative 4, or adding 4, comma, then put a negative. Now um, that's going to give us nothing, subtract uh, 10. So it's going to be positive 10 in here, overall negative 10. So we have this last part, that's going to give us a positive 20. And now we have sort of the uh, vector, this is going to be a negative 8 over here, negative 10, and just simplify everything a tad bit. There we are. This is the vector we actually got, the orthogonal vector. Now we just have to take the magnitude of it and then divide it by two. And we can add those two areas we just calculated together to get the total area of the quadrilateral. So again, we're using the formula to, to calculate calculate sorry, the uh, area, not the area, the, the magnitude or length, sometimes called, uh, of a vector, of this vector. And just to simplify this, doing that calculation gives me apparently square root 564. Then we're going to be dividing this by 2. This here is the magnitude. It's a, essentially the numerator part. 
and now we're dividing it by two. All we have to do now is add these two, these two areas together. This, the blue represents this part over there. So if you actually added up the two vectors or the two areas here, you would get an answer roughly around, and I kind of erased it on my calculator. I believe it's 29.6859, and it kind of goes on like that. And this, this is the area of the entire quadrilateral. Essentially, we solved the question. So, I, as usual, I thank you for watching. If you do have any questions about this, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And, of course, um, I hope you're having a fantastic day.